Hi guys and welcome to another Diddy theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We've had a, a very simple question. It's a good question. I've never really thought about it. Somebody wanted an image to just slowly fade in. They didn't want to do a text to image. We've done a lot of those hover effects. They just wanted a simple image that fades in slowly. So I've got one here. When you hover over it, it's going to take about four seconds to fade in. When you get off of it again, it's going to take four seconds to fade out. Really easy to do. No coding involved in this today. We can do it with the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And I've got a section here. It's got a row in it with two columns, a left and a right. I've got a simple image module in this right hand module. Let's get rid of that and we'll start from scratch. So I'm going to click the button to add a new module. Divi comes as standard with all these modules. If you have WooCommerce installed, it'll give you an extra dozen as well. There's an image module. I'm going to simply use that today. Pop an image in. Choose whatever image you'd like. And there it is. We've got a regular image there. You can choose to link it to something down here or open it in a light box by turning that on. Usual best practices if you're linking to somewhere, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If not, open it in a new tab if you're linking to off-site. I'm going to have a light box effect on this today. What that will do is when you click on it with the light box, it pops out into a larger version of itself. Now for the actual fade effect, and this really couldn't be easier. Divi's given us some tools to do it really easy. Just go over to your design tab and we'll roll down to filters. Click on filters, roll on down till you find opacity. Now opacity is transparency or see-throughness if you like. And common to most Divi modules, if you hover over the dark writing here, you'll see some icons appear. So on opacity, hover over it. You'll find a little arrow there. If there's a little arrow with all of these. If there's a little arrow, it'll give you the opportunity to set one version for when your mouse is not on it, the desktop state, and a version for when your mouse is on it, the hover state. So when our mouse is not on it, desktop, I don't want to see it at all. It wants to be totally invisible. Then when people put their mouse over it, hover state, we want it to be 100% visible. Now, if you wanted to, you could leave a little just a hint of it there so people know that there's something there by putting the opacity just up a bit so you've got almost like a watermark effect if you wanted them to notice it was there at all. Otherwise, just take it down and be totally transparent. Okay, well, the time it takes to get from this to this with Divi by default is 300 milliseconds, which is pretty quick, just under a third of a second. We were asked to do this slowly, so let's go over to the Advanced tab. We'll go down to Transition, and you can actually slow it down to whatever amount you want. I'm going to say 4 seconds, which would be 4,000 milliseconds. Obviously, you put in whatever value you want there. Don't want any delay. I want it to happen as soon as the mouse hovers over it. And the Transition Speed Curve that I like to use for this is Ease In and Ease Out. So it'll take 4,000 milliseconds, or 4 seconds to fade in then when you take your mouse off of it it's also going to take 4000 milliseconds to fade back out with ease in out okay we'll just save our changes now save the page changes exit the visual builder and there it is or well, there it isn't okay now when we go down if you hover over that image is going to slowly appear. When we take the mouse off, it's going to slowly disappear again. So I hope that's answered your question. That was a good question, actually. I've never done just a simple image fade like that. We've usually got some text or something that it swaps to. So there you go. I hope that's answered your question today. One other thing, if I just enable the Visual Builder again, these sort of hover effects are fantastic for desktop users and you don't want to forget your desktop users. I know that everybody says mobile first and that is really important. But don't forget your desktop users. You want to give them the best possible user experience and these hover effects are a great way of doing that. 
So I probably wouldn't use this on tablet and mobile because when people are tapping, they won't know to tap on something like that unless you put a little tap here or something. So you could go in there into your little row right here. And you could go over to advanced and visibility and you can disable it on phone and tablet if you want to. Uh, and if you just wanted to disable the actual image it's itself, you could do that by going into the image. Same thing, advanced visibility. And you could disable this if you just wanted to disable the image on phone and tablet. And you could create a completely new section to use on tablet and mobile. So there you go, guys. I hope you found this useful today. That's how to slow fade an image in. Like I say, no coding involved, really easy to do. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.